Báilame despacio No mires el reloj No quiero que la noche acabe Se dice en el barrio Que tienes... Welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you this really pretty look. I hope you enjoy it. and without further ado, let's get into it. For my eyebrows today I'm going to be using this NYX brow pencil and this is in the color chocolate. To fill them in I'm going to be using this brow uh, pro palette from Anastasia and I'm going to be using the color Auburn and chocolate and I'm going to be mixing them. It's this one right here, and then this one. Next, I'm going to prime my eyes, and for this I am using the MAC Pigment Soft Ochre. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. To set that, I'm going to be using this next HD finishing powder and this is in the color banana. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and just pat it on top of the MAC um, pigment. Next I'm going to be using this Morphe palette and this is a 35N and then from this I'm just taking my transition shade and I'm going to be using these, this one right here, mixing it just a bit with this one, these two. So I'm going to start on my outer corner and then move my way in towards my inner corner. Doing really softly and just blending that all out. After that, I'm going to go in with this dark brown shade right here, and I'm just going to put that on my outer corner. I'm going to slowly move that in, and then start blending. Then I'm going to be using this concealer circle, and this is in the, from the brand Coraline, and this is the color USA, if you're wondering. And I'm going to be using this shade right here as the lightest shade on the palette. Because of my eye shape, I have to go like way higher than you're supposed to, but that's just the way I do it. You don't have to do that necessarily. It's just because of the way my eye is shaped. Now I'm just going to set that and I'm taking this matte shade from Sugar Peel. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but I'll sure link it down below. Next, I'm going to be using the color Zola and this is from the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm just going to pack that right on top of the matte shade that I just put on. I'm going to take this brown color right here, it's called Burkina. And I'm going to put that on my outer corner and just blend it in. Then I'm going to go back to that dark brown from the Morphe palette. And I'm, I'm going to apply that on the outer corner. Just packing that just a little bit just to darken the look. So I'm going to apply eyeliner and I'm using the 77 shade from Inglot. This is just a matte black. I'm using this brush from Spectrum, this is an A17, and I really, really hate this brush for eyeliner, but we already started, so I'm just going to keep going. I don't know if you can tell, but it makes it look very muddy, and I don't know if it's actually the eyeliner or the brush, but I'm thinking it's a brush because it's kind of thicker than the ones I usually use from Sigma. For primer today, I'm using this Invisible Cover from Marc Jacobs. Moving 
moving on to my face, I'm gonna correct my under eye circles and for this I'm using the Anastasia concealer and this is in the 4.0. You can see this is just an orangey shade and I love using, using this under my eyes because it is so creamy and my skin is so dry that if you put anything else, it just dries it out more. I have so many blemishes in my face right now. I'm going to be using this LA Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer and this is in the shade green. I could apply this everywhere I have any redness, but right now I'm just worrying about my pimples. To cover that up, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer and this is in the color Medium 26. I'm done with that. I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild foundation, and this is in the Golden Beige. I am giving this another try because I did use this a couple weeks weeks ago, and I noticed that a couple days after, my skin had a lot of pimples in on it, like more than normal. But I still wanted to give it another try just to make sure that it was actually the foundation. Another thing I do not like is the application of this. I feel like I haven't, I don't know what's too much, and I don't know what's little, so. I'm just gonna put a bunch of it in my face and just hope for the best, right? Alright, let's blend this out. To set that, I'm gonna be using this Chanel powder and this is in Translucent 1. I'm not gonna leave this long because my face, as I said, it's really dry at the moment, so I'm just gonna leave it for a couple of minutes and just brush it off. Moving on to bronzer, I'm gonna be using this Brown Booster from Physicians Formula, and I'm gonna be using these two shades right here. This bronzer is very hard to blend. You definitely have to spend your time. So you can see, like, I just have that spot right there that just won't move. I'm gonna try mixing it with this shade right here from the Stark palette, just to see if it's easier to blend. I was gonna use this shade right here to give my contour a little bit more definition, but since it's looking so, since it's getting so hard to blend, I'm just gonna finish off my bronzer with this palette. So I'm gonna be using this one for my forehead, and then I'm gonna just use this one for a little more definition. For blush today, I'm gonna to be using this one from Judith August Cosmetics. This is very pink. And I'm gonna be using this uh, really pretty brush from Tarte. Just doesn't seem to be picking up anymore. But it does though. And now I think I've applied too much. After that, I'm going to finish off my eyes and I'm going to be using Burkina right here. And then to give it a little more depth, I'm going to be using this color right here on the corner. I'll be using this eyeliner from Wet n Wild and this is in the color Hyper Sky. This is beautiful blue. For highlight, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Glow Kit and this is the Dad Glow and I'm gonna be using the color Sunburst and Dripping Gold. to say I do hate how dry this um, highlighter looks especially on dry skin like mine it, like does not forgive for lipstick I think I want to do something like very nudie but I don't want to also look dead so to 
to think this is too pinkish for what I was going for. I think I'm gonna go over it with this um, Wet n Wild catsuit lipstick and this Nudie Patootie, but I'm afraid it's gonna be way too nude for my skin tone, which I know it is. But we're just gonna try that. To finalize the look, I'm gonna be putting on lashes and I'm using this Ardell lashes and this is Demi 101. They're very full, they're a little more than I'm used to, but I just wanted to do something like out of my comfort zone today, as you can see. I will be using the House of Lashes Adhesive that I always use. Just dry a little. You have to say, I, I'm using up this um, eyelash glue, but I will probably Probably, not necessarily, will not be repurchasing because I have noticed that every time I've used this, the glue sticks in my eyes for like three and four days after and I just hate that. Like I can wash my eyes like a million trillion times and it'll just still be there. Alright guys, that concludes this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that subscribe button below so you can see all my new videos upcoming and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! I do feel like I can freaking see this eyelash. It's like, this is not normal for me. Like, I can see them. It bothers me.